Well, sum up your thoughts. You played 45 minutes in a four overtime game at 42. What can you say? Fun. It was fun. I mean, uh, you know, at, at the point in my mind, I mean, I knew I was kind of tired, but at the same time, I just didn't think about it. You know, every time I thought about it, I felt tired. I felt like my feet was hurting. And then when I just got back on the court, didn't think about it anymore, just played the game. And, Whatever. Now I don't know how what we did four overtime. Mm-hmm. I don't know how number five was gone, but if I had to do it, I would do it. So how do you now, how do you stay focused? Like going when it's a second overtime, a third overtime. Like how do you stay in the game? Uh, I, it's I think that's pretty easy to do. Um, you know, just because it was just exciting, it was just a nail biter. You know, I always compare everything to a playoff game. You know, every possession counts. And we gave ourselves a chance you know, to, to, to win each time, and I'm sure they feel the same way. Uh, but more, more so than anything, it's kind of the most important thing when you get to definitely overtimes is just focusing in on what, if there's adjustment or what coach wants, wants us to do, because fatigue sets over. Obviously, when fatigue sets in, sets in you tend to get a little lax or you make a lot of mistakes. And we, we I mean, you, you make mistakes, you're going to make mistakes. But I think guys are focused in and, you know, at some point somebody had to win. Do you remember the longest game you played in or the most minutes you've played in a game? No, no. Uh, it's probably my 20s, though, <laughs> like this. I mean, I think I played. Uh, I do remember, um, I remember, a tr- I want to say triple overtime game versus Sacramento. Uh, we had just got Jerome Williams on our team. And uh, that was probably one of them. Uh, that's the one I, I remember. It was in Toronto. Why do I remember that? I don't know. It was a long time ago. But I do remember that. That was, I don't know how many minutes I played that game, but that was probably a one. And I just read, somebody told me that I was a part of another 150 point game in my career, so, which I didn't even know. <laughs> when, when you signed with this team in the summer, did you ever envision yourself playing? 30 minutes per game or 40 minutes per game? I mean, I'm, I'm sure you didn't think of that. I, mean, I didn't care. I mean, it's, it's whatever. Like I, told, I told Coach from the beginning, I'll do whatever. Um, if I need to play a lot of minutes, I'll, you know, limited minutes, I'll do it. Um, I just prepare myself to play. And you know, that's kind of who I've been, you know, in, in a reserve role. And as I've gotten older, you know, I've just just prepare myself as, as a starter. That's just how, who I am and how I'll continue to prepare and last this long because my mentality hasn't changed. Um, the regiment changes as you have to, to do more and just prepare, but um, you know, I, I'm, I was prepared for, for whatever is thrown at me. Can you talk about taking that charge at the end of the second overtime? I mean, what was going through your head that split second play? Yeah, it was one of those things. I, I was still up and I, I saw you know, we had just had a, uh, that situation a couple of games ago, and they, they called to follow me. So, you know, I, the opportunity was there again, and I wanted to make sure I gave him a chance to, you know, they had, you had to catch and give him a chance to take a step and blah, blah, blah. So I did that, and, and it felt more so like he was still trying to go right through me. So I just stood there and took the, took the charge. And, you know, it was, it was risky. I mean, I had five fouls, but, you know, just giving us a, another opportunity especially at that point in the game, then you know, there was another chance for us to kind of win the game. And, you know, it didn't happen anyway. He stuck. He, he the was there any chatter on the floor? You know, you get to the third overtime, fourth overtime, chatter among the players about how tired they, they are? Okay. They were checking on you? Yeah. <laughs> Who was checking on you? Uh, all of them, really. You know, you know, Teammates Levine, or both? Both. Uh, mostly like <laughs> Levine, like me. I know you're tired. He's, I'm tired. I know you're tired. Otto, everybody, you know, Otto, I, I mean, uh, Robin was my teammate before, so you know, I know, I, you know, we we definitely had a lot of chatter. I mean, it's just fun, but it was fun. I, uh, like I said, I didn't I didn't think about it, you know, how tired I should be. I should be. I, I know I was tired, you know, I could feel it. But at the same time, it was like at, if the game's going, I was locked into that. I didn't really think about that once. If I had to kind of sit out a couple of minutes and then go back in. Uh, that could have been a different situation. But, you know, it was fun. I'll tell you what, I had a good time, and I feel okay. Tomorrow, you, we'll see. Do you think you're going to play Sunday? Why not? 
Uh, well, you know, a lot's been made of playing 45 minutes at your age, <laughs> and you know, you you may feel it tomorrow. Or yeah, I'm probably, but I still that I get tomorrow. I get a day. You know, 2:30 is gonna come early, but that's okay. I mean, whatever I have to do, I'll do it. You know, as far as preparation, I've been around. I've learned how to prepare my body even at this age for times like like these, and I'm gonna do it and kind of just go from there. You know, I, I'm, I plan on playing, and you know, it'll probably be a game time decision. And, Obviously, up to the coaching staff. I'm sure they'll ask me or make the decision, but I'm gonna, you know, prepare, sleep good tonight, and kind of do all that needs to be done for myself to get ready um, tomorrow. Can you talk a little bit about Trey's performance? I mean, you've had performances like that in your career as well, but just seeing him in that zone um, and, and you know, it was great, man. Awesome. He's, he's he's starting to get it. Uh, I mean, 40 plus point, 45 or whatever, 40 plus points. Uh, with 16 assists or something like that, like he's he's doing it all. It's not you're not gonna you can't say oh he's just shooting the ball and not you know getting his guys involved. He's he's doing it all and, and he believes and he's starting to understand. Like everything's starting to slow down for him. Everything's starting to make sense for him. And that's that's what I said. I I think this is my opinion. The best thing that happened to him was the struggle in the beginning. You know, and I kind of you know get to kind of ease your way into it. And obviously you know people saying what they say. You know, it's kind of motivation. But I I think if it he starts off with all of this success, this success now, it, it could be different, you know? And of course we don't know that, but I personally felt like that was the best thing for him because, you know, every, when you get into this league, you want to make a splash. You want to you know, prove you're supposed to be here. You're supposed to be whatever, you know, rookie of the year, a top pick, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, sometimes guys go about it the wrong way or sometimes guys don't know how to go about it. And I think what, what it did for him in the beginning is, is is a humbling situation where now you can sit back and you know you assess the situation, you hear what's being said, you tend to focus just a little more now. Not that he wasn't, I'm not saying that, but not now you tune in a little more, pay a little more attention to detail, and now he's reaping the benefit from it. And I, I think that's kind of been a blessing in disguise and maybe he doesn't see it that way or, or people or his fans or whatever but it's it's what it's done for him now has been is unreal and it's been a great ride and it's been great to kind of see um, his, his, his maturation and, and just not, not only is he playing well but now he's kind of putting guys in situations and you know talking to him hey I need you to be here hey go yeah, encourage him like all that thing as a point guard is tough like that you're like the extension of the coach outside of your captains or whatever, but, you know, that, and I said it in the beginning of the year, the point guard is the toughest position because you have to, you have a lot of responsibility outside of your, your yourself. And um, he's starting to get it. He's starting to get it. With it being a home and home, playing Chicago again on Sunday, do you, do you, do you think either team has an advantage? Outside of it being a home game for them, us traveling, well, we both in the traveling. So, uh, no, I, I, no, not at this point. Not this point. Uh, you know, we, we feel like they'll probably be the tire, more tired team because they, they play, their guys played a lot of minutes and none of them fouled out. So our guys, well, shoot, we don't have a lot of bodies. Hopefully, we get John back. But um, you know, it just we just got to go back out and go for it again. Thanks.